In music, as an artist, there's a simple question of team. And that question is simple because we ask it of ourselves a lot. I've got music, I've got talent, and maybe I need a booking agent, maybe I need a label, maybe I need a publisher, a publicist perhaps, perhaps a radio plugger. I definitely need a manager. And all of these questions, we continually ask them of ourselves all the time, if you haven't already got those uh, people on board. And the answer we often come up with in our own mind is yes, when we ask ourselves those questions. And it's rightfully so that we come up with that answer because it often comes out of a place where we don't know where to go next. So I want to get some shows or I want to get some bigger shows. Uh, or I want to get some better shows. Maybe I need a booking agent. That's a fair assumption. Uh, I want to put my music out and I want people on the other side of the world or at the very least in my own country to hear it and be marketed uh, to about it. I don't know how to do that, so I need a label. Fair assumption. That's a, like, I'm totally with you on that. Uh, I have no idea how to get on blogs, in newspapers, all of that. I need a publicist. I want to get on radio. I don't know how to do that. I need a radio plugger. Like I said, these are all very uh, valid reasons to uh, answer yourself with a yes when you want to get people on board your team. But as always, I want to challenge you today. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that I'm all about challenge and encouragement um, because I wholeheartedly love music and I love this journey that you're on right now. But the fundamental, um, there's, there's a bit of a fundamental fact in music that there are plenty of talented musicians out there, but there are not plenty of talented and self-motivated, smart-thinking, energetic um, uh, people with initiative. Um, there, there's not as many of them out there. And you'll actually find that it's the people that have those character traits of that second uh, group I just listed that find themselves gaining momentum, uh, building a fan base, building a team, all of that stuff. And it's not because of their uh, God-given, born, uh, given skiffs, uh, gifts and skills and abilities and all of that stuff. Um, it's actually about what those characteristics, being self-motivation, smart thinking, strategy, all of that stuff, it's, uh, it's the outcome of them that allows them to succeed more than people just with bare talent. Um, so, how does that come into play when we're talking about team and when I want to get my team on board? Uh, I need shows, I, I want uh, my music to go out there in, in marketing across the world. All of those examples I said before. Well, it comes into this. Um, I, I believe in this uh, concept of a train and um, I have said this before but I'll say it again because that's how much I believe it. Um, you are the person that cares most about your music and that will be the case forevermore. So uh, you there are the driver of your train, let's just go with this analogy here, and you are making that train drive forward. You've created music, that's going forward. Um, you've written more songs, that's going forward. You've practiced your instrument, that's going forward. You've set up a Facebook page, that's going forward. You've started to ask people to engage with your music, that's going forward. Basically, everything you do as an artist is helping that train move forward. And so, if you uh, rely on your sheer talent in, its, in and of itself, the train is going to stop as soon as you've got music. It's not going to go any further. But if you have ambition and drive and um, allow yourself the space to think creatively and strategically about where you're going, how you're going to release the music, how you're going to get shows, all of that, then you'll find that the train has the ability to keep up momentum and to gain momentum and to build and to grow and get faster. How does that relate to team? Well, if your train is going somewhere, that is going to be very appealing to the people at the station. 
watching you as you go by, stop at different stops and keep going. Because uh, as someone wanting to go somewhere with you, with an artist, as in, uh, as, as a music industry professional, wanting to go somewhere with an artist and to join in partnership, there needs to be a belief that that artist is already going somewhere. If the journey starts with that industry professional, then where is the uh, motivation for them to get on board? If they have to start it, what's, what's the point? Uh, that sounds like a whole lot of work and not because people are lazy, but because people understand the reality that to get things going takes a hell of a lot of energy and effort and money and all of that stuff. So as an artist, I encourage you, um, if you're watching this because you want the secret tips on to how to build your team, that secret tip right now is that you need to be your team. The answer of when should I build my team is if you have already accomplished a certain amount of things within each of those spheres that we spoke about earlier. You've already got some press and publicity by yourself. You've already got some shows. You've already built up a fan base. You've already got some marketing going on. You've already got music that's out there and people are listening to because you have done that. All of that says your train is moving. You have momentum. You are growing. And that is when you need to build your team because uh, not only will that be appealing and attractive to music industry folks, but that's going to be when you've got so many opportunities and uh, potential avenues to go down that you need strategic and professional help to guide you through those opportunities and avenues. You don't need people to create those avenues from scratch. You need people to guide and with their expert help, um, add to what you've already got going on. So do you need a manager? Do you need a booking agent? Do you need a publicist? The list goes on. If the answer inside of you is yes, because you don't know what to do, then you probably don't need those industry professionals. If the answer inside of you is, well, I'm having a pretty good crack at all of those things myself, but um, I am finding I'm having some really good success in those things, and I'm finding that there's actually probably too much for me to handle, too many contracts going around that I don't quite understand, stuff like that then maybe it is time to look for a team. Maybe it is time to build and to show these industry professionals the momentum and the historical uh, evidence of success that you've already built for yourself. So don't rely on your talent alone. Uh, go out there and crush it. Um, allow yourself the space and the freedom to sit and uh, just on a piece of paper, map out where you're going to go and what you're going to do. Because that will be incredibly valuable for you and it's going to help you um, grow and build your team. So I know this has been a long one, um, but it's a, it's a really uh, deep and rich uh, question that we all have on our uh, minds and our, on our tongues. So I hope this has been encouraging for you. Um, by all means, if you have uh, questions about uh, music-related stuff, um, feel free to hit me up, uh, petegillies.com. Go to contact uh, or comment on this video, whatever you want. I'm here to help you. Uh, I don't intend on stopping these videos anytime soon, so if they're boring you, feel free to unsubscribe or unlike or whatever it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really hope that you kill it.